Hello all, thank you for checking out the CSG program. To demonstrate the program in action I'm going to be using this demo scene from Aquarius Max, his sci-fi level kit. And to open the program we go to the window menu item here, you'll find CSG or if you have MeshMaker you'll find MeshMaker here. Come down to CSG, click to open that. And in the first two slots here we have the target and the brush objects. So what we do is we can select an object here, drag it over into the brush, select another object, drag it over into the target object, move the two objects together, and once we've positioned the objects we can then choose the operation we want from subtract, union and intersection. I'm just going to leave it on subtract for now. We also have these options here. We can hide the original objects, these two objects after the operation. We can also keep the submeshes from these two, which we're going to be doing. And if you choose, you can choose a, a custom material. And what this does is instead of taking the materials from the brush here, it'll use your default material, your custom material. And once we've got everything in place, we can click on operate. And you'll notice that it did actually hide the two original objects. And if we come down, you can see that we've got a nice cut here and it's taken the materials from the brush and used those. The two original objects are still in the, in the scene, they're just hidden here. And we can bring those back or, or hide them. And this new object here exists in the scene but it doesn't exist in the project so what we need to do to make this permanent is we can save it as a new mesh here and or we can save it as a prefab and I'm going to do that now. So I'll save it as a prefab and what it'll ask us to do, it'll first ask us to save the mesh. Which I'm just going to save into the folder here and also save the prefab. And you'll notice that it's popped up in the project and we can continue to add as many of those as we wish. Also note that uh, the operation does produce a lot of triangles and these are not optimized in the program at the moment. A few other features that it has is this toolbar here, you can click on that, come down to options, and for the newly created model we can update the normals, update tangents, update the UVs. If you also have any problems with the, the cutting operation you can adjust the epsilon value. Normally smaller values make for a more precise cut, so that might be helpful to you and if you need more help you can go to the frequently asked questions tutorial or the online videos in the help section here. And to demonstrate the runtime cutting I'm just going to head over to these two objects here and we'll just move those into position. And you'll find the DLL for your program in the Files folder, CSG. This is the DLL, just include that with your project. And there's an example script here called Runtime CSG. And I'm just going to drag that onto this object, but I'll quickly discuss the example here. In this simple example, the brush is uh, expected to be called sphere, the target is expected to be cube. You then set the operation to subtract. These other features you don't need, but they're in the example for you. And then the main function call is perform CSG here, and it'll create a new object. And because it's, and because it's expecting to find a sphere and a cube, I'm just going to have to rename these, so I'm just going to call this one cube and this one here we will name sphere. Alright, so the example script will find these two objects and it will perform the operation. I can close this interface here and to make the script work at runtime we'll just drag that onto any object in the scene so if we put the script on this object here and when we hit play the script will be run 
and we'll have our newly created object in the scene. You can see that it's cut that out of the cube. I hope you get a lot of use out of the program. I thank you for watching. Bye for now.